It's the COD cheat sheet. Today we're going to get into NAT types, router ports, and how to hack them. I mean fix them. Give you a better shot. I'm getting a lot of questions about um, connection errors when it comes to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I previously made a video, a short video, on the issue that I specifically had. Not that it would pertain to anybody else, but the thing that fixed it for me was the video that I showed. Then that video, some people had some comments that it wasn't working for them. So I promised that I would make this video pertaining to how to actually go into your modem and open up the correct ports for your PlayStation, your Xbox, or even your PC. First thing you want to do is know exactly what type of router you have. And if you go to portforward.com, this right here, portforward.com, which is this site, you can go to list of all routers. You can then go alphabetically to the make of your router. So like, let's say that you had an Airland, right? This would give you the different AirLand routers that this site knows of, which is this one. And within this one, this will show you how to give you a static IP, how to get into the actual port forwarding settings, so on and so forth. So, if you're not familiar with your router, first and foremost, go to portforward.com, go to the list of all routers, and then look for what router manufacturer and exact model of the router that you have. This should be found on a sticker on the back of the router. You can then simply Google Port Forward Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and look for the link to this site. Here's the actual link if you want. I will actually put it in the description below. But this will give you all the open ports that you need depending on exactly what console, even the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Now, ports are done through TCP and UDP. I won't get into an explanation. They're just two different types. Some of these, as you can see right here, you have to open both the TCP and the UDP port for this specific number. Then you also have what we call chains or blocks or series, which is on the TCP end, these specific ports need to be opened as a series of ports. Some of these are individual ports, like this one right here, 3478. Again, this is on PC. But as you can see, they change depending on what console you go to. Now, naturally, Xbox One and Xbox Series X are going to share. Same will be for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. These are the ports. I will put them in the description below so that you can actually go if you know what you're doing and do these. Let me show you real quick how I would do this on my end. So if you look here and you go to whatever device you're playing on, PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, follow the template for the machine that you're running on. Mine will be PC. So. The first one is TCP and UDP, both of 3074, which I have here, all right? Then I need a UDP of 3478, which I have here. Then I need a series in under UDP of 3479 to 4380, which I have here. Then I need to add Two more series, one under UDP, one under TCP, as well as a UDP single port. Luckily on this one, I can do both at the same time. We're going to add three different rules all at the same time. I pick my device. I do manual setup. The first one is a single port, 27. 036 under UDP then 
then 27,000, 27, 0, 3, 1, under UDP. And then 27, 0, 1, 4, to 27, 0, 5, 0 under TCP and it's that simple you add them you click next or OK or accept or whatever your your router would have and now when I look at my port forwards everything that's shown here is reflected here These are the ports that you need open. And you look up Modern Warfare, you can see that the ports are exactly the same. The TCP and the UDP ports are exactly the same. But that's it. That's all you need to do. Then after that, Shut down your computer, your PlayStation, your Xbox, or whatever. Turn off your modem, your router. Wait about one minute. Turn it back on. Let it load back up. Once the modem is fully up, operational and has all the lights on it that it normally does, turn on your device or your PC. Let it connect to the network and try it out. This should also fix any NAT type issues that you have as well. If this doesn't work, then you need to call your service provider or you need to get a hold of Microsoft or Sony or Activision, Blizzard, if it's pertaining to PC, and get a hold of somebody that will actually walk you through what you might need to do. And maybe there's something that they need to do in order to fix your connection. That's the only other thing that can help. I hope this shed some light. I hope this gave you some kind of insight on what you need to do. Till next time, later haters.